All right, man. Torture Talk, 12 o'clock show. You know what it is, man. Look, man. It's getting crazy on these YouTube streets with your boy Drizzy Drizzy. Drizzler. Now, I want to see what your boy Maul says about this because... I believe he's close to somebody who knows Jay-Z and Jay-Z is supposed to be his favorite artist of all time or something like that. So I want to see what Maul says about this whole thing here, because this right here takes the cake and Drake. He just got to have something to say. So let me get into this before I get to that. You know, this is torture talk. If you're new here, please consider subscribing let me work for your subscription today. If you are new, all the single ladies put one in the chat. All the fellas, y'all know where to find the ones at. Just don't harass them. Don't sell no merch, but I do have content. It's absolutely free. But if you want to leave a donation, links on the screen, catch at PayPal's in the description, all that good stuff. Let me know where you're from. They call me the Hidden Gem. I went from 1,300 subscribers to over 11,000. So we're going to get right to it, man. <laughs> all right, this comes courtesy of Chick Smooth. You know what it is. Let's get it. I just subscribed to your shit too, bro. It's finally time, everybody. We're here now. No more pretending to be frenemies. No more passive aggressive sub disses. It's time we finally get direct with each other. Now you guys know the drill, right? When all else fails, when everything doesn't go your way, blame Jay-Z and Rock Nation. Over the last couple months or two, Drake has been leaving quite the digital footprint. From giving a speech at a party about friends backstabbing you. Um Listen, I'm going to tell you one thing about nostalgia. One thing about nostalgia, this party here. Yo, why are you always trying to talk like he's Jamaican? Yo, it's so crazy if you go back and you listen to when he first started, before he started rapping. And he sound like the proper poindexter. You know what I'm saying? And now listen to him now. This is a joke. My real friends are definitely in the building. But I'm going to tell you, you're going to come to a point in life where people you thought were friends or people you thought were close to you, they might switch up. They might try to move funny with you. They might stab you in the back. They might do a lot of things to you. You'll come to that realization. Wherever you're at in life, you've probably been there and you'll be there again. That's how life is. But look, sometimes it's you and you alone by yourself. Sometimes Bro, you are talking about yourself. All the things that you did to people is starting to come back and haunt you. It's starting to come back. All the landmines that you set and you walk through the field is blowing up. Blowing up all on you now, Drake. This is the thing. All the guys, women you slept with, all the people you lied to, all the manipulating you've been doing, it's coming back to get you. So you can't point at the crowd and say, hey, he's going to come to a time. Some people might never go through that. Some people were actually really good people and they would never go through what you've been through. Because you are a doodle ball bro it's the reason why you were at today you can't do the copium thing man it's not gonna work sometimes you alone with your thoughts sometimes you, you know what play the song go ahead to unfollowing people that you used to rock with and also using media personalities to address rumors for you. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, man. I'm starting to see Drake in a whole different light. Everything about Drake since he lost the beef to Kendrick Lamar has just been weird. If you ask him, do you have an issue with Jay-Z? He says, no, you guys have the facts wrong. I don't. It wasn't over Beyonce's house music. This is the, this is the, the, the quote unquote T or not T, but like this is what Drake said in re reply to whatever rumors i guess and shout out to the joe button podcast of course my man ice and then of course uh joe button he did say he said uh beyonce had that record for five years and honestly never mind dropped before whatever she dropped and i never worked on a house album um he says nobody has facts in this game it's insane okay so essentially he's saying that beyonce had that 
that house album for a long time. The man just refuses to come out directly and speak his mind. Now last night, Drake launched a very direct tech at Jay-Z. He posted a picture of Solange, Beyonce's sister, after she beat Jay-Z up in the elevator. As if that wasn't enough, Drake then posted a picture of Aaliyah. Rest in peace to Aaliyah. There's been a lot of speculations about her and Jay-Z and their relationship and also some other weird conspiracy theories that are out there about them. With my bookie, everybody wins this season. All it takes is a couple minutes to place your bets. My thing is like, why are you posting Aaliyah, dog? Like, why are you posting Aaliyah? You didn't know Aaliyah. Why are you posting Aaliyah? What's the, what, what is that all about? Why are you posting Solange? Why? It's like Solange fought Jay-Z in the elevator, kicked Jay-Z and all this stuff, spitting on him and all this stuff. No one really knows the truth besides who was there, Solange, Jay-Z, uh, Beyonce and whoever else was there. Obviously, it didn't go nowhere. It didn't get out what happened because you haven't heard it. Nobody heard it. But my thing is, like, when it comes to why are you posting Aaliyah? Like, why? What is, what is that about? And if you know football, my book is for you. Even if you're new and don't know where to start, I got you guys covered. Use promo code CHICKS to get a 100% deposit bonus to place more bets. Yo, let me get a size 20. And if you've already been using MyBookie, you can now earn more cash with MyBookie Plus, the new loyalty rewards program. Bet anything, anytime, anywhere, especially with MyBookie risk-free Thursdays and promo code CHICKS, how could you go wrong? Now, it's obvious Drake is still mad at Jay-Z, whether it's over Jay-Z choosing Kendrick Lamar to perform at the Super Bowl, or simply feeling like Jay-Z is trying to destroy his career for choosing Apple over Tidal. The funny thing about Drake is that if you ask him about this, he's going to tell you, nah, I was just reminiscing that night listening to some Aaliyah music. And then you guys know Aaliyah reminds me so much of Beyonce, then I thought about Beyonce's beautiful sister Solange, then I found this amazing picture of her smoking in his cigarette in the car. Now more than ever in his career, it's obvious Drake won't smoke with Jay-Z. After losing to Kendrick, Drake feels like at this point, there's nothing else I have to prove to anybody. This industry has started to turn its back on me, so why not go out on my shield? Now just from an outside perspective looking in, this is kind of bizarre coming from Drake. You want to go from battling and beefing with Kendrick Lamar to Jay-Z? And do we honestly think Jay-Z is actually That's right. You want to go from from getting getting wop 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 <laughs> to Jay Z? Come on, bro. Like, what are we doing here? It's just like sometimes I feel like 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 Drake is at a point in his career where he just like I just don't think he know where to go. I just think he think like let me just do whatever because. Obviously, nothing's going to happen, but let me see what happens. Let me try this. He became a try me nigga now. Now he's a try me dude. Let me try. Let me try. Let me try. It's like, come on, man. I just don't understand. I don't understand why you, what is your, what is, what is you and Nicki Minaj and Birdman? What are y'all hard on about Jay-Z? I need to know this. Like, what is it? What is it? Because obviously you guys don't need Jay-Z. You guys are popular and you're making money in music without Jay-Z interfering or anything. I just don't understand for the life of me, why would you post a picture of Aaliyah? For what? 
on to engage in the rap battle with Drake in 2024? Like, what is the actual end goal here for Drake? Is it to expose that Jay-Z was behind all these attacks against you? Somebody please fill me in in the comments below. Drake, I have no clue what you're doing, but I wish you the best of luck, brother. You guys get in the comments below. Scrap my channel like this video. I'll see you guys later, man. Yeah. Links will be in the description. You know that. Yeah, I don't understand it. I just don't understand. Like, what's 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 the end game here, Drake? What's going on here? It's like, I just sometimes I feel like Drake does things on purpose because he has nothing else to do and nothing else to talk about. Sometimes I feel like him him coming after Jay Z or saying certain things to Jay. I don't know. I just feel like. You're doing this for attention. And but what but what for? Like you ain't dropping no music. You ain't dropping no album. And now that I'm hearing party next door really don't want to have nothing to do with you. So it's like, what are we doing here? When is this gonna end? Because you lost clearly to Kendrick. Ain't no way around that. And Kendrick ain't having said, yo, this is so crazy now I think about it. Kendrick Lamar hasn't said a word. <laughs> And this guy here has been going crazy. He's been going off, dropping music, doing all this, going, talking to, talking to people in the inbox. Oh, I'm, I'm been busy right now. But, you know, top five, you, 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 that guy. I heard you tearing the internet up and all this stuff. Like, come on, man. What are we doing? So I need to know. But like I said, man, that's the 12 o'clock show. Make sure y'all check out the 8 o'clock show this morning and um, 6 o'clock show coming up. All right, see y'all. Peace, bye. <laughs>